Hello students this is Shivani Kesri your English subject teacher today we will study a chapter from your English literature book and after that we will do the exercise also so students if you have any question regarding this chapter then do drop it in the comment section now let's start the chapter through the animation video chapter 6 around the world in 80 days scene 1 In a room in a club in England, Phyllis Fogg is seated in an armchair. Joseph Kane is standing. Three more members of the club are sitting at Fogg's table. The Daily Telegraph has calculated that one can go around the world in 80 days. But that doesn't take into account bad weather, storms, shipwrecks, train accidents and so on. I say it is impossible. You cannot travel to every continent in 80 days. It's a bet, gentlemen. Twenty thousand pounds. I'll see all of you at this very place exactly eighty days from today, and by that time, I would have travelled all around the world. That's a bet. Fogg quickly leaves the room. The men look at each other. Scene two. Phileas Fogg's bet was published in all the newspapers in and around England. It so happened that a big burglary had taken place. A few days earlier, Phileas's face fitted the description of the man who was wanted for the burglary. So Scotland Yard appointed a man, Detective Fix, to follow Fogg. In Scotland Yard, an officer and Detective Fix are talking. The officer has a newspaper open in front of him. They look at a photograph in the newspaper. Detective Fix, don't you think the face of the bank robber matches that of? Phileas Fogg. Let me see. Fix matches the face on the two photographs. I think you are right, Detective Fix. You must follow this man and keep a watch on him. If you get evidence that he is the burglar, you must arrest him immediately. All right. Scene three. Phileas Fogg, along with his personal assistant, Jean Passepartout, began his journey from London. Their first stop was at Suez, from where they planned to take a streamer to Bombay. Waiting for Fogg at the Suez Canal was none other than Detective Fix. Fix followed Fogg and Passepart out on the streamer Magnolia to India, where he hoped to get a warrant to arrest Fogg. On the Magnolia, Fogg and Passepartout meet Fix. Passepart out. Students this is an this exercise of this yes, chapter if you want you can pause the video and do I mean, it thank you that. students good day sir but tell me were you not on that steamer to suez yeah, yes i was i thought too so are you two off to india yes to bombay and you me too see you again good day Fog walks off. Passepartout follows. Fix looks at both. Scene four. After reaching Bombay, Fog and Passepartout boarded a train to go to Calcutta. However, since the track was incomplete, they were forced to get off the train. Fog bought an elephant and continued his journey through the forest. Fog is sitting on an elephant in a jungle. Passepartout is on foot. They see a group of tribals taking a young woman to a funeral pyre. What is happening? The tribals are trying to sacrifice the young woman on the funeral pyre of her husband. What? I am going to rescue her. Fog rushes in, takes a young woman by her hand and climbs onto the elephant. They rush out with the tribals running after them. Who are you? What is your name? My name is Oda. My husband was a prince. They wanted to burn me along with him on his pyre. But you are safe now. Where do you wish to go? I have some relatives in Hong Kong. I will take you there. Scene five. Fog and Passepartout, out, accompanied by Oda, travelled to Calcutta and from there to Hong Kong. Fix followed them. Upon reaching Hong Kong, Oda found that. Her relatives had moved away from there, so she travelled on with Fogg, and the three of them 
went to Shanghai, Yokohama, and then to San Francisco. Fog sees Fix lurking somewhere behind him. He waits until Fix is alongside him. What is your game, sir? You have been following me from London all the way to the Suez to Bombay, and now here. Very uncomfortable. I, I. It's just a coincidence. I hope it is. Box of annoyed. Scene six. Phileas Fogg was now on his way to New York, and then to his final destination, London. The journey from New York to Liverpool went without a hitch. But as soon as they reached English territory, Fix arrested Fogg for robbing the Bank of England. Soon, however, he realized that the real bank robber had been arrested three days before. Freed, Fogg, Auda, and Passepartout hired an express train to get them to the British capital as quickly as possible. But they do not make it in time. They arrived in the London station a few minutes too late. Fogg sitting alone in the room. He looks dejected. Auda walks in. What makes you so sad? I have lost the vigor. Only by a day. Never mind. You can try again and prove it to them that it can be done. You are an extraordinary man. I am glad that I met you. So I am. Scene seven. Suddenly, Passepartout realized that the following day was actually Sunday. They had gained a day when crossing the international date line. This meant that it was still Saturday. The day Fogg had to return to London. In order to win his wager, Passepartout ran back to Fogg to give him the good news. Fogg rushed to the Reform Club, the same room in the club. Joseph Gain and the three members. As expected, Fogg could not make it. We will have to divide the prize money amongst ourselves. But there are still a few minutes to go. Fogg rushes in. So, dear friends, here I am. I think. You owe me twenty thousand. Students, this is an exercise of this chapter. If you want, you can pause the video and do it. Thank you, students.